from his studios in New York. It's time for Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora, where sports meets life. Here's your host, Dan Tortora. Welcome here to Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora on WakeUpCallDT.com, your one-stop sports shop, and on MixLR.com backslash WakeUpCallDT. I hope that all the dads had a happy Father's Day and enjoyed their day. I'm going to ask him to, to pull himself in closer here on the, uh, on the chair sets. <clears throat> we are here this morning with Johnny. And uh, Johnny and I are hanging out this morning because Johnny has has made a bet with me, and Johnny lost that bet. So this morning, Johnny is going to be doing something really cool. We're trying to pull you all up on live video here as we are live on MixLR.com backslash DT. So we're putting this up right now, giving you some, giving, giving Johnny some love here. All right, so we'll get this we'll get this up and over to you right now as we are we are set to go. So this morning on Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora on WakeUpCallDT.com, your one stop sports shop, and on MixLR.com backslash WakeUpCallDT is a post Father's Day fun show. We're relaxing on a Monday, giving you something to have some fun about. Everybody's relaxing this Monday except for Johnny, but that's okay. Because we'll make sure that uh, that he has a good time nonetheless here inside the studios. He's a good sport. He listens pretty much every single day to the I show. Every day. And uh, and has been a, a big time supporter of the broadcast. He made he made a bet with us that there was no way that we would have the Golden State Warriors win Game Four. All right, so we are putting this up right now on... He's a little bit nervous here in the studio, folks, so show him, show him some love here. But we are getting him onto the live feed in two, one. Here we go. All right. So we are inside of the Wake Up Call studios. Thank you for everybody's patience on MixLR. We're here this morning. Happy belated Father's Day. Johnny is a father, so happy Father's Day Thank to you. Johnny. This is also Johnny's birthday. Yes, it so, is. So happy Father's Day, happy birthday, happy Shave Your Chest Day. Yep. This is so, great. It's a so, good day. Yeah, it's, it's going to be fun for you. And demoralizing. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun for all of us. So, so we're happy to have Johnny here in the studio. We're live on Facebook on Facebook.com backslash Dan Tortora 21. That's Facebook.com backslash Dan Tortora, the number two and the number one. So make sure you catch us on their inside of the Wake Up Call studios in Central and Upstate New York, hanging out this morning. And we're going to hop into the morning menu here. So you're going to hear uh, some silence on the other side. We're going to hop into the morning menu, and we will be back here on live video in just a second. Here on Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. We like to start off the show by giving you our menu of topics. The morning menu that is live now with the morning menu is Dan Tortora. And the morning menu for this morning on Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora is 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 going to be Johnny shaving his chest. That's <laughs> that's what we're doing this morning. So everybody's like, you know, Father's Day is over. I got to grill out. I got to see my. I mean, people. This is what people are thinking. I got to grill out. I got to see my kids. I got to put my feet up. I got to relax. What am I doing? I mean, what do I get to do the day after Father's Day? What keeps the party going? What keeps people excited? Gives them something to look forward to. Well, because of what we're doing today, Father's Day was a prelude to an even better Monday. And that is the fact that today on the show, we're going to do a couple things. Johnny is going to allow me the opportunity of shaving his chest Longtime listener and supporter of Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora made a bet that the Cleveland Cavaliers could not, would not, should not, will not, will. No way possible could Cleveland be swept. They would win game four. And he said on our live MixLR feed, and if you're not a member, you can't do it. So make sure you hop on there 
Aaron, his fiance, said happy birthday. She cannot wait for this moment. I know she can. <laughs> so, so this morning, Johnny said there was no way it was going to happen in the live feed. And mixlr.com backslash wake up call DT. If you're not a member, become a member today. It's free, it's easy, it takes a couple seconds. And so, Johnny's comments were if Golden State wins, I'll shave my chest. And I said back to Johnny that I guess you're shaving your chest in a couple days. And sure enough, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, your favorite, Clay Thompson and the crew came through and they sweep. They've won three championships in four years. And because of this most recent one, Johnny has agreed to shave his chest. So with that being said, I, I have my utensils. I have my stuff here. And uh, and we're ready. It's going down. Right? It's going down. We're hopping exactly. right into it. Right we are ripping the bandaid off. There's no commercial break. There's we're nothing. So we're just going right in. We're going. We're going right in. This is what we're doing. Oh, All right, man. Johnny. So let's make sure it works. Yeah, we got it. Oh, <laughs> got to take, take the, the guard take off. the guard off. <laughs> so let's move that chair out of here, and let's make it happen, folks. This is a first time on Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora. First time ever, and I don't think a lot of radio hosts get to do this, so on the morning menu today, not only are we going to do this to Johnny on his birthday, mind you, but, you know, he agreed to this, and after all of this, because we love you, and we know you're a Syracuse fan, yep. we know he's a Detroit Lions fan, oh, yeah. and we know he doesn't like Draymond Green. Not at all. So we're going to just, we're, I'm going to have you sit in after Awesome. co-host a little bit awesome so is that does that sound like a good birthday gift it does that sounds good you've that's, always been listening now you fair. get to be on the other side that's of the fair. mic I'm all right in my word okay all right so let's do it show let's let's get it going here here is here is the day that we get to do it we are shaving the chest of this wonderful man live on radio all right come up oh, here. Boy. here let's we do go. it here is i it, think i'm gonna try i it. can't even look i can't <laughs> Ah. <laughs> I'm try, trying to put my name in here, but it's not working. So we are officially ah. shaving the chest of Johnny, one of our longtime listeners on Wake oh Up Call. God. And this is it's a like, loss to a bet. What, what, how do you describe it here? I will. This is a lesson learned. <laughs> do not make bets. Uh man of my word like i said but i feel like draymond green is shaving my chest right now that's right he has completely ruined me from ever betting again there we go we're gonna clean you clean you up here look at how quick and painless this is though I obviously i think i know what i'm doing i think i think i got this down got here this down i think i yeah what is it broadcaster by day yeah and you know, manscaper by manscaper night. By I don't night. know. I guess I guess I'm good at this job here over here. Look at how painless that was. Let's let's clean it up Are here. Are you having fun? I am having a good time. Are you having a good time? I'm having a great now? time here, folks. <laughs> See, this is what happened. I mean, I make I make predictions all the time, you know. So I gotta milk the opportunities when somebody makes a prediction here. This might be one of the best birthday. Yes, ever. You will never forget this. I will never, ever forget this. <laughs> How old are you today? 32. 32. So on Johnny's 32nd <laughs> birthday, on his Magic Johnson birthday, we have now officially shaved his chest. We're leaving everything else. So that's there on him. Is. You got to leave it the way it is. Here it is. You were a good sport. You did well with it. We have, we have shaved Johnny's chest. What is it? Dan, you look like you've done this before. Aaron, listen. As 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 an Italian Hispanic, we know that we get some we get some hair, right? So you have to manscape. So I know how to you know manscape myself. And now that I have to throw out this razor and get a totally new one, <laughs> I you know. But I've I've learned a little bit here. So we're gonna we're gonna clean up everything here. Follow us on to the the next video as Johnny on his birthday, great sport here, shaves his chest on live radio on wake up call with dan satora because he lost a bet he's a man of his word yes, I am. so we appreciate this he said golden state could not win it in a clean sweep and they did they won game four they sure did so he shaves his chest on his birthday and we appreciate it because not everybody can stick with this so we're gonna take we're gonna we're gonna fade to black here for a second we're gonna take a quick break 
clean everything up here and we'll be back with you in just a moment so hang tight on this video feed we will be back here on wake up call with dan tortora momentarily so we appreciate you being here appreciate you being a part of the show and we'll be back momentarily this is a wake up call fast break for one day only, Sunday, August 12th from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., the CNY Pop Festival brings sports and pop entertainers together, including Syracuse basketball's Decades of Bayheim, from Roosevelt Bowie Jr. to Daywan Coleman, as well as Syracuse football alumni and actors from The Flash, Star Wars, The Gremlins, Power Rangers, and The Addams Family. Come to the CNY Pop Festival at the F Shed at the Regional Market. Buy VIP and pre-sale tickets now on cnypopfestival.com. Brought to you by Honda City Liverpool, Utica Pizza Company, and True by Hilton Camillus. This is Jimmer Sikowski, owner-operator of Chick-fil-A Cicero, 7916 Brewerton Road in Cicero, right in front of the Home Depot. I had a deep feeling that God wanted me to do something bigger with my life and to help people, help others. I kept putting Chick-fil-A in my life, and I realized as I was going through the franchise selection process that uh, positively impacting the lives of others was really core to what we do here at Chick-fil-A. First of all, it starts with the food. The food is brought in fresh daily. You know, we bring in local produce. We prepare to order in the kitchen. We hand bread our chicken. We hand spin our milkshakes. It's it's great food. It doesn't taste like fast food. I, I think the second thing is is the way people feel when they come in a Chick Fil A restaurant. It's different. We we try to treat people with intentional kindness here, which is very different and deeper than good customer service. And so. I think it feels remarkable for most people to come in a Chick-fil-A restaurant. And then lastly, the impact that we try to have in the community is very different. It's a big part of the expectation of every operator of a Chick-fil-A restaurant is that they're actively engaged in their community, they're a leader in the community, and they're, they're making a difference. When they realize that what we're striving to do is to shine a little light in their life, that's a very, very different experience uh, than you will have in any other quick service restaurant. And it's that remarkable experience that I think people will emotionally connect with. Hi, this is Domenico Vitali, owner of Giovanni's Formalwear where you look great and feel even better with our renowned tailoring and alteration services on any suit or any tuxedo from anywhere. Call 315-455-8729. That's 315-455-8729. Stop in locally on Route 11 in North Syracuse next to the Ponderosa Plaza, where you can choose your style, get fitted, and tailored all at Giovanni's Formal Wear. I'm George Townsend of Honda City with some good advice when buying a new car. The true cost of owning a new car is determined by the appraised value when you trade it. No vehicle appraises higher than a Honda. Next, look for low APRs and deep discounts. You also want low maintenance costs and great fuel economy. That's why my advice to you is to buy a new Honda. Looking pre-owned, visit our Honda Certified Used Car Center. Honda City, 7140 Henry Clay Boulevard, Liverpool, or hondacity-cny.com. It would be a pity if you don't shop. For all of us that have always wanted our favorite restaurant to come to us, it's now a reality in Central New York with It's a Utica Thing, with Utica Pizza Company bringing their wonderful recipes that they've handed down through generations to you, to your event, to your business, to your home. It's a Utica Thing, proudly bringing Utica Pizza Company on wheels to your location. Call 315-738-8946. That's 315 315- 738-8946 to bring Utica Pizza Company to your doorstep with It's a Utica Thing. Welcome back here to Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora on WakeUpCallDT.com, your one-stop sports shop, and on MixLR.com backslash DT. We are back inside <clears throat> of the studios, and <clears throat> Johnny is officially back. I am back. And and he has he has no hair, folks. He is a hairless individual on the chest. And the thing that made this even more exciting, Johnny, yeah. is that this is your birthday. 
It is. So it's post Father's Day. Yep. You drop the kids off. Yep. They went to school. They go to school, and then you come here this morning. Yes. So Father's Day, see the kids, and on your birthday, shave your chest. Shave my chest. Now, have you ever shaved your chest? I have not. So this was the first. This was time the first time since like childhood. You, yeah. Wow. This was it. Look at that. This was it. That's like so. This is history. History. You've never manscaped before. Nope. What will Aaron think of you? Uh, I will find out when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> so she said her last goodbyes this morning. Okay. So how how was the fiance this morning? She was good. She woke me up this morning with the kids singing "Happy Birthday" yeah. outside. Uh, brought me a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Yeah. So I woke up nice, and then she, uh, when I got ready to take the kids to school, she ran her hands through one last time and <laughs> said goodbye. That's awesome. So she was the first person on on everything this morning. She was the first person on our live audio feed on yeah. mixlr.com backslash wake up call DT. She was the first one on Facebook Live, facebook.com backslash Dan Tortora 21. That's a 2 1. And uh, I love what John said. He said, clean up that area. I sit there on Fridays. So, <laughs> so uh, no worries, John. We had actually put down, and Orange Avenger will appreciate this, we put down a Disney tarp. Yes. You know, if you've ever gotten a poncho, we put down a poncho in the studio so none of Johnny's hair graced the ground. So, John, you are okay. It is safe. We've disinfected it. These are no good to me anymore. I have to burn them. But, you know, hopefully yep. I can find some new ones somewhere sometime soon. Yep. Disinfected, sanitized. <laughs> We're good. The room is okay now. So how do you feel about it? Post, post, post. <sighs> you know, doing this, how do you feel? I need to watch what I say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. I need to watch what I say, <laughs> and I need to uh, be very sure of, what, you of said. what I say. Yeah, there are no sure bets. Now, if you there, people will say, if it's the Patriots... If it's the Warriors, yeah. maybe, right. maybe, right. but there's no sure thing, hence why Vegas is still around. So Right. Never pull for the underdog going against those two teams. What made you believe that LeBron would win game four? Because he was. they did it the year before. <clears throat> Down 3-1. So you didn't think that they So could. I thought for sure he would at least pull out one game. One game. And that was with his back on the line. So that was the that was the bet you were willing to make. Yes. Was just game four. Just game four. You didn't necessarily think they were gonna come back. No. You just thought game four. I thought four. they were gonna win one game. Okay. A game. So how do you feel now that LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers have let you down? Disappointed. Yeah. I'm highly disappointed. What should LeBron yeah. have to do to apologize? What should LeBron have to do? <laughs> If you could talk to LeBron James right now oh, man. with your with your manscaped body, what would you say? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe something along the lines of look what you've done to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you you have completely shamed me. Yeah. You know, this is how I When when did you get your first chest hair? Oh jeez. I don't know. I was, a, I was a young guy. Okay. I was a young guy. Like 12, 13? 14, 13, 14, probably. Okay. I got so my first sprout. So you're 32 today. Oh, yeah. Which means that for almost 20 years, that hair has graced itself on your chest. There was a gray in there, too. There was a gray there in there. There was a gray in there. And now they're all gone. And now they're all gone. Now they're all gone. So, I mean, I, I mean, this is like the how, christening of your chest today. Yeah, how do you feel? I feel phenomenal. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> I feel great because it's not me. Now, see, because the thing is, I, I'm i a man of my word, okay? So if yeah. I make a bet, I'm going to do it. That's right. Okay? And there was somebody that kind of defaulted on one of their bets in the past, and if they had not defaulted, I was going to have to shave or wax one of my legs. Oh. Just one. But it was going to be wax. Okay. And no, I don't want to wax my body. So, you know, it, that's... I didn't have to do that, but I... I will live by what I say. That's right. That's yeah. how I do. I got to do it now. That's right. So, you know, you learn your lesson. I don't like when people don't do not do it. So, I would do it. What does this say here? Dan's cuts. You lose a bet. You lose some hair. I love that. That's nice from John. So, but you know, this is the thing. You know, I remember years ago, I was listening to Mike and Mike, and one of them lost a bet. So, they had to do something on air that involved the loss of some hair. Right. You know, and I, I thought, I thought, wow, I was like, that's really cool. 
if I ever got an opportunity to do that, then I've, you know, this could be a turning point in Wake Up Call with Dan Satora. This moment in video, audio, simulcast live history could change everything for the better, Johnny. That's right. Groundbreaking. It is it is totally groundbreaking, especially if people, I mean, look at the job I've done, folks. It's so clean. This is what I, this is, I, I mean, it. I, I mean, I think I'm I'm good, right? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I got a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you know, I try to take care of business. It's completely okay. But you know, you got it. You got a manscape now. As an Italian, my mom was not happy about it. Okay. She's like, "Why are you doing that?" I got got in the pool one day, and she goes, "Did you shave your chest?" And I said, "Yeah, ma." She goes, "Why would you do that?" And I was like, "I don't know. I felt like it. Yeah, you know, it makes me feel good." You just had a moment. Yeah. So this this could be a big time moment for this you. Could, this could be. Maybe the way I'm going to run from here on out. Will Aaron you don't still know. marry you without your hair? Uh, I would say I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> now, when until the how long do we have till the wedding? It's August twenty fifth. August twenty fifth. So today we're here on the eighteenth. So you got about yep. a couple months. Yep. Two months in a week. Yep. So what do you think about getting married? I can't wait. Yeah. I'm excited. You're very excited? I'm very excited. What are the best things about Aaron, who we know listens to the <clears> show <throat> and is a Green Bay Packers fan? Well, Johnny is not. No, not I am only not. is Johnny not a Green Bay Packers fan, they have feuding teams in the same yes. division. Well, with her being Green Bay and yep. not me being Detroit, um, we have a flag that we get to hang outside of our house, and it shows the Green Bay symbol, Detroit, and yeah. the crackdown center says a home divided. Oh, that's cool. So we hang that out. So actually, ten days after our wedding, the NFL season will start. Yeah. So I found that out the other day. Which is very cool. So that's and, how and, I'll remember. And our you and the lady are inside of the Wake Up Call Fantasy Football Challenge. Yeah. Which means that we have to do it around the wedding. Yeah. And your brother won the league he this did. past he year. He did. You're he was welcome. a Jaguars fan inside of Central New York. That's right. So you're welcome, by the way, Jim. <laughs> Because you invited Jim. I did. I did. And then he beat everyone. And then he beat everyone. So I mean, it's like you've had you've had a year. It's it's been a year for you, yep. man. Because yep. that happened in you know the end of the year, going into 2018. You got a wife who likes the Packers, or a soon-to-be wife who likes the Packers. You know, you shaved yep. your chest. You've had a, you've had a year. I've had a I've had quite the year. What this what have you what have you learned from everything? I know that you said to watch what you say on on the show here. But what has 2018 taught you so far? 2018 has taught me... Uh, I have to ask you to speak up for the home crowd here. It's taught me a lot yeah. um, as far as just uh, pushing through and doing what you say yeah. and following through with everything and giving every day your best. Yeah. You know, I mean, you have everyone has those days where they don't really feel like it as much. And, I mean, what are you going to do? But for the most part, try to do everything you can do the best and be the best person that you are, you can be yeah and uh follow through with your beliefs and everything so 2018 has taught me how to um i try to be a better father every every day uh, soon to be husband yeah um an employee i try to do my best at my job yeah. you know and just try to be the best me that i can you know, that's 2018. That's 2018. That's 2018 up. for you. Look at look at all these thumbs up that we got. That's right. You know, so you took your lemons. Yep. And made chestless hair day. I did. Yeah, I did. Now the question is, how long is it going to take me to get over this? <laughs> <laughs> you said it's been a year. Mm -hmm. But how long is this going to be in the memory bank? Right. This will be here forever. This, yeah. Because this is your birthday. This is my birthday. So I think you're going to, like, call me up every year on your birthday and be like, we got to shave my chest on radio. I mean, it's my thing now. But we got from your soon-to-be wife, it's going to itch so bad growing back in, and she's crying laughing right she now. She is crying laughing. Hopefully she'll itch it. There you go. She'll be the one to itch the chest. Now, she's always, she's always razzing you. Do you razz her back? Is I, it a razz household? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I choose when and when not to raz. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I wait for the good moments to just really pff, to zinger. Go, go, go in and zinger. Okay, who's the best at razzing, you or her? Uh, I am for sure, because okay. she's so easy to get going. Okay, it's the little things that can just really just set her off, and that's what makes it so easy. You know, I mean, yeah. 
That's why I'm the best at it. So so you're good at Raz yeah. and her. Oh, yeah. And did you Raz her today? Did you throw anything at her today? No. Nothing? I didn't, no. Not, I haven't had a chance. I've been, I woke up this morning and trying to wrap, your head around wrap my head around what was going <laughs> on today. Yeah. How'd you do with that? Not well? Not well. No. Not well up until about five minutes ago. The thing is, you, you showed up, though. I did. I you did. showed up and you did it. And I think that, you know, there's a lot of people that say things when they write into a radio station or call into radio, whatever it may be. But you've lived by this today. Yes, I have. Yep. So you got to be proud of that. This is a lesson for everyone. <laughs> a lesson. <laughs> what you say on the internet can and will be used against you. Absolutely. That is what this says. You know, you have to remember. Now, Johnny is Johnny's a good person. And we shaved his chest. Yep. Internet trolls, well, they don't they don't get as nice of a treatment as you've got. That's right. Look at that. Saying Jimmy Graham right there. Yeah. She's trying to she's trying to razz me already. Jimmy Graham. Yeah. I love it. That's very nice. You do you like Jimmy Graham or no? Are you a fan? Um not this year. Not this year. Not okay. this year. So you're a Detroit Lions fan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And whenever I'm on the show and the live feed's going on mixlr.com backslash wake up call DT, and I say Johnny says such and such, that's you. Yeah, that's right. A lot of the time Same. it's about Detroit. You know, I'll be talking about Jim Bayheim and Johnny will make a statement about the Lions. Yep. <laughs> I'll be talking about Cheesecake and Johnny will make a statement about the Lions. That's right. Kim Jong un will join the show and Johnny will be making a statement about the Lions. So, you know, th this is an every moment thing for you, and we joke about it, but you have a lot of passion. I do have a lot of passion. When it comes to Detroit. So, yeah. what made you a Detroit Lions fan? I know there's others in Central and Upstate New York, yeah. and, you know, our listeners all over, we appreciate it, wherever you're listening from and watching from. So, why a Detroit Lions fan? I think it goes for everyone in the early 90s. Yeah. Of how they became Detroit Lions fans. Yeah. <clears throat> Start started on Thanksgiving. My father pointing out, watch this guy. Yeah. And it was Barry Sanders. And just watching that guy run, it was literally like artwork on the field. Yeah. I mean, he'd lose ten yards, he'd lose three yards, he'd break one for fifty five. Or he might only gain three yards, but it was the best three yards you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. You know, yeah. and just started watching them with him. And then next thing you know, I got sucked into this franchise that has taken me on quite the roller coaster ride. Yeah. And I've been fr front cart, scared out of my mind, <laughs> yeah. joyful at others. But you have Matt Patricia. Yes. Former defensive coordinator for the New England Patriots. Yep. The only Patriots assistant recently to say they were leaving and actually keep their word. Yeah. So one thing that you and Matt Patricia have in common is you keep your word. Keep our words. And his defensive coordinator is former Syracuse, spurned, disrespected, and they've never been the same since, former head coach Paul Pascaloni. That's right, Coach P. Yeah, so what do you think about I've gotten to interview Coach P, be around Coach P. I know some people in the area that are close to Coach P that are in the coaching ranks. What do you, what do you think about having Coach P on your team now? I love having Coach P on, on our team. I think with him and Patricia putting their minds together, um, and actually, I believe Patricia was familiar with Coach P. Yeah. Because um, yeah, they're both yeah, yeah. from Syracuse. Patricia was here, yeah. 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 Um, so having two defensive-minded guys, um, you know, and you also have Bob Quinn, too, who is general manager, who is familiar with both of them as well. Yeah. Um, if everyone can get on the same page, I think we could have a – a good year. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna go to the roster here. Okay. We're gonna look up the roster of the Detroit Lions here on Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora on Wake Up Call DT.com, your one stop sports shop, and on MixLR.com backslash Wake Up Call DT. Treating a good sport well. He came on the show, he shaved the mane, and not just shaved his chest, he allowed the chest to be shaved due to a That's bet right. that he lost on Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora. And, <coughs> pardon my allergies today, not only did he shave his chest today, but it's the first time he's ever taken a single hair off ever. of his chest in 18 years, folks. It's never happened before. Nope. This is it. So from the day that it grew in 
to today, we get to christen Wake Up Call with Dan Satora's live feed by not only having a listener come in and keep their word, but you've never taken a piece of that hair off before. And it's happened today in studio. In studio on your birthday. On my birthday. Post Father's Day. Post Father's Day. How I mean you can't make it better than this. It's it's not even a trifecta, it's like a quadfecta, whatever the heck you call that. You said it. It's a quadfecta. It's a quadfecta. We yep. made it a real word. So the Detroit Lions, we're gonna look at the roster right now. Now, as you know, every single Thursday we do a thing called the Fantasy Football Power Hour with Mike Sofka of Hall of Fame Fantasy Football dot com. And we've been going division by division, giving you advice on every single team inside of a division each week. So we've already done the AFC North, we've done the AFC East, we're moving on to the West, but we will eventually get to the NFC. Just look at this. Stud, stud, stud. So stud, Ma- so stud. Matt Stafford, we know that you're madly in love with him. What if He if, is too with me. If if Maddie Stafford yep. if God forbid he went down. Your backup is Matt Castle. Thoughts on that? Matt Castle. Yep. Got paid a lot of money. He's to a, leave he's, the a, he's, Patriots. A, he's a traveling vet. Yeah. Um. You have nothing good to say. I got nothing good to say. <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing. No. Running backs: Legarrette Blunt. Yes. Carry on Love Johnson, it. drafted in the second round Love out of it. Auburn. Theo Riddick. Love it. Plays Not, injured. Yeah, he plays injured all the time. Uh, Amir Abdullah. Who? I know. He's been in the league for a few years. This will be his fourth season. Mm-hmm. Not really having a good time lately. Well, 15, 16, yeah. So this, this will be his fourth. I think he might be on the trading block this year. <laughs> yeah, if anybody will take him. Yeah. Zach Zenner. Love him. And you do love him. I do. From South Dakota State. I love that guy. How about something funny here? He was the first running back that was signed to a new contract in the offseason. Yep. By Detroit. Yeah. And then, and while I was in Detroit for the That's right. NCAA That's tournament. That's right. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Zach Zetter. So yep. I got to ask a bunch of fans what they thought. Dwayne Washington, what, also on the team, he's been injured as well. Yeah, he's up and down. Who's going to be, <clears throat> when all is said and done here, who do you think is, how are the, how are the carries going to be spread out between Blunt, Johnson, Riddick, Abdullah? What are you seeing? I see Theo going third downs. Okay. Um... Third and longs for sure, because uh, he's a pass catching yep. uh, back. Uh, I think Legarrette Blunt's going to get majority of the carries. Okay. Um, and then I would say they're going to slowly work in Carry on Johnson. Okay. And by the end of the season, I would say Carry on Johnson's going to be getting a majority of the carries, and Legarrette Blunt will be the short down guy. And then Theo, and Theo will be, will be change, of pace. change of pace, and then Amir. Check down. Amir might be kick kick return, or they might run uh, a two back set with Theo and uh, Riddick. Yeah, or Theo and Amir rather. So I think I think it's fair to say, and I think I think you got a point here. I think Legarrette's going to start it out. Theo will be out there, and then Carry On Johnson will eventually find his yep. spot. Marvin Jones, who could it just didn't work out in Cincinnati, he's figured it out here. I think and he's done well for me in fantasy. Golden Tate. Did better than I thought he would. Kenny Galladay in his rookie season, drafted in the third round 2017. He was pretty good, but he got injured a lot. And then they have TJ Jones out of Notre Dame, who doesn't really get a lot of time out there. Andy Sleeper. Jones out of Jacksonville State. Bradley Marquez, <clears throat> who is a free agent. And then Jace Billingsley and Dantes Ford. Now, Dantes Ford, I know, because Dantes Ford uh, went to Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, and I covered him in Pittsburgh. So, what are your thoughts on, and I've known Dantes for a few years, what are your thoughts on the receiving core, and do you think that Marvin and Golden are good enough to be the top two, or is Kenny Galladay coming? Well, what did Josh Gordon say? They had the best receiving corps in the NFL? That's, I believe that's what he said. All I'm going to say is don't sleep on Detroit. Okay. Don't sleep on them. Okay. Kenny Galladay will have a breakout year. Okay. He'll have a breakout year, and... I mean, Golden Tate, as soon as he gets the ball in his hands, yeah, he's making people he miss. Just, he just needs to get another yard here and there. That's it. That hurt. I know. That one hurt. Listen, and no matter how Ow. many times I watch Ow. that video, better hope some Jones step up there. So he said he, you know, Marvin, Marvin Jones yep. is going to have to step it up. Yep. So, yeah, we were talking about the Golden Tate. Johnny said to me, coming on the show, I think it was a Monday, Johnny said, 
what do you think about the Golden Tate touchdown that was called back? And so I pulled it up on YouTube, and I watched it repeatedly while I was talking to you here yeah. on MixLR.com backslash Wake Up Call DT. And every time I watched it, I I had, like, a different reaction. Now, it, when that happens, when you're 50-50, whatever you called on the field, if you don't have irrefutable evidence, whatever you called on the field has to stand. It sta- has to. Now, it didn't stand. And the funny thing about this, and it is the way the NFL is, and it is the way the sport, sports are because they are ironic like this, Atlanta and Detroit were fighting for one of the last spots in the playoffs, and that win over Detroit gave Atlanta yep. the push that they needed. So if Detroit faltered at all, which they did, then it, it gave an opportunity for Atlanta to go into the playoffs. But you, know, you wonder what would have happened if they had called that a touchdown. It looks like he crossed the plane. He bounces a little bit. I, this, this is my thing. If you catch the football and you turn to go up the field, I always thought a catch was three steps. Yeah. Right? You catch the ball, you turn, you make a football move, yep. right? and when you turn your body, you one, two, three, you have possession. That's right. So with Golden Tate, he has possession of this ball, and he goes, oh, this is what I don't like. When you cross, if the ball bobbles, if it bounces, I don't care. Right. Because to me, it's a touchdown, and if you don't call it a touchdown, then it's a fumble recovery in the end zone by the offense for a touchdown. Right. So it's a touchdown. Right. So Johnny and I, we, you know, he was he was inconsolable for about four or five weeks at that time. So we're going to step off of this video. We will be back shortly here inside of the studios. We'll talk with Johnny for a couple more minutes. We'll let him go on his birthday bonanza. But this has been. A wonderful opportunity for Wake Up Call to make history. Doing this job for 15 years, and I can say that I have never had to shave anyone on live radio for the loss of a bet. You got it today. So I got it today. It's in my wheelhouse. Join me, America, as we skyrocket after this moment. We will be right back on Wake Up Call with Dan Satora. This is a Wake Up Call Fast Break. For one day only, Sunday, August 12th from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., the CNY Pop Festival brings sports and pop entertainers together, including Syracuse basketball's Decades of Bayheim, from Roosevelt Bowie Jr. to Daywan Coleman, as well as Syracuse football alumni and actors from The Flash, Star Wars, The Gremlins, Power Rangers, and The Addams Family. Come to the CNY Pop Festival at the F Shed at the Regional Market. Buy VIP and pre-sale tickets now on cnypopfestival.com. Brought to you by Honda City Liverpool, Utica Pizza Company, and True by Hilton Camillus. Carvel DeWitt, it's what happy tastes like. Do you know why? Because we make ice cream. Creamy, rich, flavorful ice cream. Not yogurt or ice milk like some of our competitors. Ice cream. Fresh, by hand, daily. For the calorie conscious, we have something new for you. Our new Carvelite. Same great flavor, creaminess, and texture of our regular ice cream with only 35 calories an ounce. So whether you want an ice cream cake, flying saucer, dasher, carvelanche, hard or soft ice cream, we will satisfy your craving with our fresh, handmade, regular, or new Carvelite ice cream. Carvel DeWitt. It's what happy tastes like. Clothing that will change with you without you having to change. DrySigLady.com, D-R-E-I-S-S-I-G, Lady.com. With the bamboo line, relaxed fit clothing, as well as the athletic fit clothing, DrySigLady.com is fit for any woman, any time of the day, anywhere. Whatever you're doing, whatever your day commands of you, Command yourself to feel comfortable in Dreisig Lady Apparel. D-R-E-I-S-S-I-G Lady.com. For all the women out there, feel good in what you're wearing. And don't feel like you have to constantly change throughout the day. Whether you're a stay-at-home mom, a business owner, going for a jog, going for a meeting, or just relaxing at home, DrysigLady.com is the right fit for you. D-R-E-I-S-S-I-G, lady.com. This is Lawrence Papaleo, licensed real estate salesperson for Gilbo Realty. Call our home office at 315-752-9513, or better yet, call or text me directly at 315-748-2524. 
Let me ask you a question, Lawrence. If I needed you to help me buy a house, find the right place, could you help me do that? Joe, I'll help you find your dream home. You don't ever say my name on the radio, never. If I needed to sell a house, could you help me go about that the right way? Yes, yes I can. How do they get a hold of you? Call me directly at 315-748-2524. But you also do the commercial property. So if I got a business, couple businesses, got to take one here, move it over there, do this, do that. Are you going to help me buy and sell my commercial property also? Yes, sir. I like that. I like that. What's my name again? I have no idea. Absolutely. But they need to know your name, so give it one more time. This is Lawrence Papaleo, licensed real estate salesperson for Gilbo Realty. My phone number is 315-748-2524. Why don't you tell them your name one more time and that number so we can jot it down. This is Lawrence Papaleo. Call me or text me directly at 315-748-2524. Welcome back here to Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora on WakeUpCallDT.com, your one-stop sports shop, and on MixLR.com backslash WakeUpCallDT. Proud to have you here on the broadcast every Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And on today's show, we did something that we have never done before. And to find out what that is, folks, well, we don't have to just tell you it, we can show it to you. This is what we did today, folks. Johnny came in, a fan of Wake Up Call with Dan Satora, and he is currently in studios, chest hairless. It looks good. <clears throat> on the show. So he came in wearing the, the Syracuse tank top, yep. so he had that on. But Johnny, for the first time ever, he told us he's never shaved his chest, never manscaped. This is who he is. And so we got to make history shaving your chest. Yep. You've never done it before. Wake Up Call has never done live video of a bet where somebody has owned up to it and made it happen. And on top of all of that, it's on your birthday post Father's Day. That's it. This is what Johnny looks like, folks, right now. And uh, and we we can happily tell you that we have disinfected the studios. We had a hazmat suit come in. And they came in. They sprayed everything. Yeah. Yeah. I feel cleaner. I feel. I, I do. I, I feel enriched right now. Do you? I do. So you're excited about basketball season. I am excited about basketball. What makes you most excited about basketball season? I can I can imagine what I think it is, but but fill me in here. What are your thoughts? Everyone's coming back for the most part. Yeah. Everyone important. Um. Uh, and the big news with Battle coming back, I that puts us as a candidate to make a really good run. Yeah, you know, I think, best. I think that we're going to be uh, looked at as a powerhouse now. The thing about this 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 team is that they didn't lose, like you said, they didn't lose anybody. And, you know, Matt Moyer didn't really play, right? So you don't feel that loss. You have Barama Sidibe who's coming back after rehabbing himself, and I got to see him in the gym actually this past week. And he was shooting, you know, just flat-footed, taking those yep. shots, and he was yep. making a bunch of shots. So, you know, Barama's working on his game. Tyus Battle is back for his junior season. Frank Howard is back as a true senior. Marek Dolajai, who came on heavy yeah. when they needed him most in tournament time. Pascal Chuku will be back. O'Shea Brissett will be back as a sophomore. Howard Washington, Jr., he's coming back. Just got to talk with him as well. He'll be coming back after his ACL injury. Elijah Hughes, who sat out a season, he's going to get an opportunity to play. He's considered to be a jack-of-all-trades type of player, a guard and a forward, and somebody who truly worked on his body while he had this year to improve himself. Some guys come in, and they just kind of, you know, if they have to wait the year, then they go through the motions, but they're not as prepared as you thought they would be. Right. Where Elijah Hughes, you know, multiple players on the Syracuse staff have told me that they commend him on his regimen of getting his body ready. Yeah. So, you know, what we will see what this team can be, but for the first time in a very, very long time, and probably the first time, I would say, since this whole NCAA sanction hit with the scholarships, will they have depth at every single position? We have hope. Yeah. We have hope, and it looks good. And I think that this team, dare I say it, I think that this team is a Sweet 16 probably better. If they do what they're supposed to do, do what they're capable of doing, I fully plan on going and seeing this team in the Sweet 16 again. But please don't send me back to Omaha. Now remember, be careful what you say on the internet. I didn't listen. I didn't, I didn't say, say I was doing anything. <laughs> I didn't say I was shaving anything. I didn't say I was doing any of that. All right. Now, but th- this is also the man 
who bet me. So Jimmer Sikowski, owner and operator, Chick-fil-A Cicero, yes, make yes. sure you're listening into this. Jimmer, Jimmer and I are friends, great guy. And I appreciate, Jimmer, all that you've done. We've worked together from day zero. This is the man who said he will play me in horse. That's right. And if he wins, I buy him Chick-fil-A. And if I win, he buys me a Porsche. But, you know, <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. It's Chick-fil-A. We have a Chick-fil-A bet. Yeah. So I got a basketball court right around the corner, and I, I got a basketball hoop at the house. So we got to make this happen. We can do this. So when when can we do that? Let me get over this first. <laughs> okay. And then All we right, can... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let you get over that. So, but... You're sticking by this thing. Absolutely. Now, when you say, I have to buy you Chick-fil-A or you have to buy me Chick-fil-A, is there an amount limit? Can I buy anything I want? What's, what's your normal? My my normal. Your standard. Your go-to. I, I love the nuggets. Okay. So I get the nuggets and the fries and a Coke Zero with Polynesian sauce. Or... I'd get two sandwiches, no fries. Okay. So I get one spicy, one original chicken sandwich. What do you think about that? That's like twelve bucks. Either way, it's fine. Okay. What it's about fine. you? What are you what would you order? I go What's your go to? I go number two, deluxe. Okay. With So you a, do the spicy chicken deluxe. I do the spicy chicken deluxe. Okay. Which is like tomato, lettuce, yep. all that good stuff. Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm all about the spice. Okay. And uh What's your side? And then I'll do fries. Okay. You got to have the Chick Fil A sauce. Okay. It's see that's my wife's favorite. And when I was speaking with Jimmer, he goes, "What is your wife like again? What do you like?" And I said, "She likes Chick Fil A. I like Polynesian." She goes, uh, "He said I'm gonna side with your wife." He said, "I'd rather have you be mad at me than her be mad at me." Well, he's a smart man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's <coughs> very true. So, so that's what you're gonna get. Yeah. What yep. are you gonna drink? Um. I'll just do a regular probably a Coke. Coke? Yeah. All right. That's fair enough. Okay. But we got to make it happen. It will happen. Because we're on live video right now, so this has I to happen. I can't take it back. You're right. And this, this has to it. happen within the next couple weeks. Deal. we got to do it. Yep. So you got to look at your schedule. Okay. i got to look at my schedule. All right. And we're going to have, but we have to, I'm going to have to bring the HD camera out, I think. Okay. To prove who actually won. We can do this. We can do that. We're gonna we're gonna make it happen. Got it. We have to make it happen. So now, and this is horse. We could any shot, any shot in horse. Well, that it's horse. Anything. Anything can happen. Okay. All right. I mean, look what happened today. <laughs> I know. Anything look, can happen. Look at what we achieved today, Aaron. You've been if you've been trying to get him to shave his body, manscape a little for the wedding. We have taken care of half of it. The rest is, it is up to you. Oh man. The stomach. That's you. That's you, Aaron. Yep, that's you. What is she going to think about you being half-shaved? Oh, man. I don't know how she's going to look at me. She might not look at me at first. <laughs> I think she will. I think the first thing when she comes home is she's going to pull up your shirt and just probably laugh knowing Aaron. Oh, she's going to laugh. She's going to have sure. a good time. Yeah, my little guy is going to think it's a riot. That's awesome. Yeah. Your little guy was talking, uh, when, when we decided we were going to do this and make this happen, yeah. we reached out to Johnny, and your little guy actually talked to me on the phone. He did. Yeah. He did. He's a card. Yeah. He's, he's, How he's old something. is he? He's, uh, he turns three next week. He turns three and he talks that much? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. This man's got conversations going. And he doesn't stop. So, I love what Aaron said. Thank you so much, Dan. Best wedding present ever, is what your soon-to-be wife said. Awesome. Now, now, did Johnny tell you I get to speak at his wedding, which is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Who is speaking I... at your wedding? Jimmy, your brother? No, no. I have... Uh... Who's speaking? Let's see. Her sister, Michaela, okay. will, be, will be saying something. Shout out, Michaela. Um, I'll have my buddy, Matt, be doing something. Okay. And yourself. Yeah. Her, her dad doesn't want to do anything because he says he'll turn into a just a sap and just start crying. Okay, so, so I, I respect the place that. Of her dad? I guess so, essentially, <laughs> right? Am I on the docket? See, listen, and Aaron and J and Johnny are both worried because they know my comedy, but you shouldn't be. I mean, I make you guys laugh. Yeah, I, you're just worried about the rest of the congregation. Not so much. Okay, not so much. What's your fear think... of me having the mic? Um. Anything can happen. That's very true. You know, anything can happen. <laughs> That's very true. A uh, couple minutes. I'll say nice things. Okay. I'll always say nice things. Always. You know, you got to feel good as a broadcaster when you meet someone through your work, which right. that's how I yep. met you. Yep. So you meet someone going and doing a live event, 
and then they listen to your show, and a listener of your broadcast invites you to their wedding. Yeah. So it's got to make you feel like a, a million. It makes me feel like it's priceless. Yeah. It means it's a lot to me. It's important. It goes a long way. It's important to us. I don't know how many broadcasters get invited to weddings. Probably not many. Yeah, probably none at all. You know? I heard they're all terrible except for me. I'm I, I think I'm no. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I mean, I grew up on Colin Coward, and um, I've got to be around Mike Greenberg, mm-hmm. so I like Greeny. <clears throat> uh, Colin Coward was great. So I love being around, or I loved, uh, I love listening. I still do. Um, I like, I like listening to him. Yeah, Colin. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Who else do I listen to? Rich Eisen, because Rich Eisen was half of a duo that I loved, and I have to give credit. And and like, and obviously, I was joking, folks. You know, I don't have an ego. I've never given any of that, and uh, cockiness is not my forte. So I grew up on broadcasters that I appreciate. And my favorite, probably of all time, is Stuart Scott. So as cool as the other side of the pillow. Cool as the other side of the pillow. I know. And then, uh, and then I, I love. Was it? I think it was a Dan Patrick that said it. Who said, "If it's fair, it's gone. It's gone." It's gone. Wall. <laughs> yeah. Is that Dan? Uh, was it Dan? Or was that? Um... I can't remember. What's that one guy? He, he <coughs> travels around. He does a lot of baseball things for ESPN. I'm not sure. Um, Oh, I can't think. Oh, I think I know who it is. I think I know who it is. Somebody probably wrote into us right now. But Stuart Scott, Rich Eisen. Here's a crazy thing. My grandmother passes away, as you know. Yep. She passed away in uh, June of 2017, June 24th. And so actually a week from today, or a week from yesterday, I should say, is, is going to be a full year. And we'll be doing a mass for her in central and upstate New York. So if you want to come support G-Mama... Her name is Marie Cavino, and they're doing a mass for her at 12.15 on Sunday, June 24th. So if you want to come and pay your respects to one of the best people God's created, you, you would definitely come out and That's awesome. and see that. So we're doing this thing, and, and my grandmother is, um, she was always really close to me, and she just made stuff happen. So she passes away. And it took her five seconds to kind of take the wand from God, so to speak, yeah. and start doing stuff. So she did stuff the day she passed away. And then within, I think, six months of her passing, yeah, it was within six months of her passing, I met Bob Costas, spoke with him for about a half an hour, then saw him later at the Carrier Dome at the game, spoke with him again, and then I uh, took a picture. I actually have a picture and then uh, after speaking with Bob Costas, shortly after that, within a few weeks, I met Chris Berman and spoke with Chris Berman. Really? So I was like, I don't think I have any broadcasters really left that I'd want to talk to that have to, you know. And Chris Berman, it was the craziest thing. Uh, Bob, well, for, I'll start with Bob. Bob Costas, uh, when we talked at the Dome, he looked at me and he said, I got to tell you. And he turned and he looked me right in the eye and he yeah. said, I truly enjoyed our conversation today it meant a lot to me he's like i really enjoyed really? talking with you today and i was like with all the people that bob talks to to hear that right meant the world to me and, and some people have compared me to bob and i like to just be me but i know that that's an honor if somebody says that so to talk with him and say he, he appreciated the time and you feel it you know and it was genuine and then after that chris berman uh, he i was at the jaguars game yeah and so he's down a little ways he comes out, I'm like, I got to talk to him. He walked by me a couple times. I said, excuse me, Mr. Berman. He said, yeah. I said, my name is Dan Tortora. I put my hand out. I shook his hand. I said, I just want to tell you that I've always loved your work. It meant so much to me, and I watched it all the time. You know, yeah. it, it just, it did. Like, I would run back from, you know, we would have a confirmation class Sunday nights, and I would run just to get home. I had to see the Sunday night, the Sunday NFL countdown. countdown. and yep see everything he did and you know and back 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 and you know yeah. everything that he did and then uh mike all stopped the rumbling stumbling yep. bumbling and so <laughs> yeah yep is he down no so and then my curtis my favorite martin yeah so you know i i got to finally tell him i appreciated his work and i tried to be really nice and and, and tell him i just be who i am and he said what's your name again and i said tortora and he and he held out of my hand and he leaned in he goes what is it i said dan tortora i said well nice to meet you and he walks away. He comes back like five minutes later. I don't even know he's there. I feel this hand on my back. And he, he had come by me. He's standing behind me. He puts his hand on my back. And he goes, 
I want to let you know that what you said to me truly means a lot. And I will remember what you said. Thank you so much for your kind words. That's awesome. And I was just like, and then when I left or when he was, I'm sorry, he left before I did. So the game's over. He's walking by. And I said, Hey, Chris, then I said, thanks. He shook my hand and he was like, Hey, it goes good luck with everything. And, you know, it's just uh, Greenberg, when uh, Greeny, I was going out for a job, and we were down at ESPN the weekend when they used to do it at Hollywood Studios, and he was like, hey, let me, he's like, let me know. He goes, make sure you get in touch, let me know if you get that job. And then I spoke with some of the baseball staff who were awesome, and I spoke with some of their, uh, some of their members that aren't there anymore that were really, really sweet. And, um, you know, men and women on ESPN. And then I had the opportunity to meet Bob Costas and Chris Berman. So. That's awesome. I guess you weren't kidding. She grabbed the wand and started yeah. waving it around. She started waving it around. But I will honestly say that above Bob Costas, and, and not just because we, we have one of them sitting in the studio, but more than Bob Costas and more than Chris Berman, you know, the support of what I, I call my call crew, yeah. which are my wake-up call listeners, you know, this is this is reality. You know, playing fantasy football with your listeners, your readers, your viewers, your social media people. You know, we play fantasy football together. We play March Madness together. We played flag football together. You know, we're going to go out and play horse together. You came in studio to do this. Yep. And, you know, we, we've brought other people in to, like, John Newman of Newman Sports Cards to do a segment. You know, the Orange Avengers. Been, I mean, there, there's so many things that we try to do with wake up call that I would do if everybody was doing or if nobody was doing. And, you know, my thing is to give back. It's about saying to people like Johnny that when you listen to this show, I want you to feel like somebody out there hears you, cares about you, is listening to you, and wants you to live a good life. Right. You know, people have this misconception that when you talk for a living, you don't listen. But I hear you, I appreciate you, and, you know, somebody like Johnny coming in the studio, I can't speak for anybody else. But, yeah, we have some fun shaving your chest and doing that this morning. Absolutely, absolutely. But the the bigger part of this is that, you know, even if somebody had done this, they would have been like, oh, let's shave your chest and get the hell out of here. Right. It's more than a show. You know, when I listen at work or wherever I am, um, you know, because I know you, I'm able to be personable on the other side. Um, we both know each other's humor. Yeah. Um, but it's it's more than that. Uh, it's a friendship, you know, outside of this. And, um, you know, you know my fiance, soon to be wife, my brother. Yeah. Um, you're going to my wedding. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's awesome. so it's a lot more than just being on air or a radio show. You know, it's a friendship and it's for forever, you know. Yeah. To go from here. And, then, and that's the thing with, with Wake Up Call is that. You know, when you start your own business and you work for yourself and people say, well, you know, how are you <coughs> building those relationships and whatnot? And because I do so much, you know, the people that I work with in business, I think it speaks volumes when the companies that are working with me, you could see them all on wakeupcalldt.com, that well, I become friends with them. Right. You know, I, I come in as a professional saying, I want to help you expand your business and advertise and, and do different things and be and just be innovative. And they're friends. Right. My listeners are friends. You know, Johnny's not the first or, or the only listener out there who, you know, now I know I know your kids. I bump into you somewhere. We start talking and all of a sudden here we are today. So, you know, I appreciate the fact that you said it's it's different. It's not your typical radio show because it's it's not i mean the businesses i work with are friends my listeners are my friends and yep. you know you you make that you make that effort yeah i make friends with the athletes that i speak with i care about you know each and every single one of these men and women that are on the show and you know i i do i i try to i try to let what my grandparents and my parents taught me run through me and <coughs> my allergy sorry but what whatever this world has become I can't speak to why, right? but, you know, I'm going to try to be the difference and the more positive piece to everything. So, you know, the, the fact that, that I speak into this mic and that on the other side of it, you get friendship, you get realism, you get, you know, somebody who genuinely cares about you, that, you know, <laughs> if you were the only person listening, yeah. Johnny, I, I, I've done my job. Yeah, you can feel the passion. You know, you can feel how much you care. Um, 
you know, like you said, it, it's more than than the radio show yourself. You actually care about others, and uh, and you show that. Well, so, you know, and you, and you have to because. Yeah. In the world we live in today, I mean, they need it more than anything. Absolutely. So as a listener, I'd like to say thank you well, to you. You're welcome. I don't really know how to... I, always <laughs> like th- I like thanking people, so when people say thank you, I'm just like, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like when I've done events and, and someone's been like, hey, can we... My my wife was helping out at an event, and they're like... And this was, this was, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. And this family, they, they came to do... We did a drawing for a Super Bowl party. Mm-hmm. We had like 220 phone calls... And we picked our winner, and this family didn't even win, and they were like, hey, can can we get a t-shirt? My wife was like, yeah, yeah, so we get them a wake-up call t-shirt. And we're proud to say that there's at least 600 of them all over this country, a lot of them in central upstate New York, and of uh, pink, hot pink, white, orange, we all over the place, courtesy of Dry Sig Apparel, who we work with exclusively on Teal Avenue in Syracuse. That's D-R-E-I-S-S-I-G apparel.com. You can check them out there and go see them on Teal Ave by Shop City. But, you know, they said, well, he signed this. And my wife had said to them, and I wasn't with her, she was, she was like in the back of the building. She's like, he's not going to know why, right? but he'll do it. Yeah. So I, she comes up to me, and, and she's, we were dating at the time, and she says, hey, babe, um, the family in the back wants you to sign their shirt. And I told them, yeah, no problem. And I looked at her, and I was like, for what? Right. And she's like, oh, no, they just really appreciate it. I was like, okay. She's like, yeah, I told them you'd be weird about it. Just say thank you. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, but but that's because, I mean, it's just not, I mean, we've done fantasy football drafts in Florida for almost 10 years now. We're going to do another one in August. We do four here at least in Syracuse at the Wildcat Sports Pub in Camillus. And then I fly down to Florida yep. and I hand their trophies. And But that, again, you know, if it was reversed and... I was in Florida now, and I had met you. Yep. I'd still fly back to see y'all, and and that's something that you know I don't know how to describe why I do what I do. I just do it. Right. So flying down and handing someone a trophy in Orlando, saying I promised you I'd never forget about you guys, you know that's my word. Right. It's my bond, and and so for me um, to do this, you know, and, and to sign that, I appreciate it. But when we did drafts with. Um, this guy Dominic, his son Nick down in, in Orlando was was probably about this tall. He was like three feet tall, little kid, and he was and I'll never forget, he had a Vikings Brett Favre jersey on. Mm. And he was uh and, and Dominic's like he's like, Hey, he goes, Will you take a picture with my son? And we had a Super Bowl champion, Dominic Rhodes there. Yeah. And they're like, Will you take a picture? And I was like, For what? But you know, and you do it and then we we went back down and I presented a trophy to the Eilat family, to Stefan and Mark, and they've been playing the whole time in our league. Right. So Stefan is like six foot five or whatever he is right now, really tall kid. He, I go and I meet them at the boardwalk at, at where ESPN Club is and whatnot at Walt Disney World in Orlando, fly down, present them their mini Lombardi trophy from the Penn and Trophy Center, and you can check out all their stuff on penandtrophy.com. So I present them the trophy and Stefan goes, I can't believe it. And I go, what? He goes, do you remember me? He said, when I met you, he goes, I was like four feet tall. And he's like, and look at it, and he goes, and I think it's so nice. And he goes, I think it's so crazy. And he's still, he's a person taller than me. And he still is like, when he saw me, he was like awestruck. And he's like, I can't believe I've known you this long, Mr. Totora. And to think that I called the radio station and told my dad we should be a part. And it's like, the fact that these kids grow up and when they become young men, my show was a part of their childhood, and they approach me like I was one of those things that they loved about when they were kids. Right, that's and, awesome. And I don't, I don't know how to say thank you for that. I just, you know, I, I try to do what I can. <clears throat> you know, for people like Johnny, and you know, for people like all of you. If you're having a terrible day, I want you to have a better day when you listen to Wake Up Call. If you're having a phenomenal day, I want you to ha- continue to have a phenomenal day, and everything in between. So. You know, it's just trying to be different. And your word goes a long way. Yeah. So your word does go a long way. Johnny shaved his chest. We appreciate it. We appreciate you all for watching the video. One more time to get a, to get a closer peek at how amazing this is. Just picture that entire thing with hair all over it. Is there any way, is there a, is there a way that we can draw on you? I wonder if we can draw on you. 
I don't think we can. I don't think there's a way that we can draw in your chest or else we would. We just picture a bunch of hair was all over this, this chest by Johnny. Had never been shaved from when he was 14 years old. And here it is today. Courtesy of Wake Up Call, Dream on Green, <clears throat> and Golden State winning game four in the NBA Finals. And, and with that being said, Johnny, we appreciate it so much for you being a part oh, of today. Thanks so for thank having you. me. Johnny, longtime listener, appreciate him. Appreciate all of you that are listening in. Let this be a message to you that I love and care and appreciate my listeners, and that when you give your word to me, I will give you the benefit of coming to the studio, but I will also make you have to pay your bet. So, this is true. Yeah. Lesson when the, learned. When the bell toll rings. Lesson then, learned. Yeah. yeah, so we we took care of business here. I'm Italian and Hispanic, so if he ran, we would have found him. <laughs> but But happy birthday to you. Thank you. Happy Father's Day again. Thank you. And happy almost wedding. Yep. Thank you. And now that you've done this, I give you a free gold card to use whatever you want to use against your fiance Aaron when Perfect. need be. Perfect. So he has a gold card from me, Aaron, that he can use at his opportunity, whenever, wherever, to stop a fight, to see the movie he wants to see, to go somewhere he wants to go, to, you know, I don't know what I'm going to, maybe I'm going to call it I'm right card. So you have the I'm right card, and you can use the I'm right card once and only once, so pick your battles. John Newman said, speaking of shirts, I ordered you a shirt with the new logo, and uh, that's John uh, Newman Sports Cards. I gave him a wake-up call shirt, and I do a trade-off. Yep. So when I you know hang out with Wes Jenny and whatnot, uh, Wes Jenny, CNS, I like this thing with like how athletes do, where they trade their jerseys. Yeah. So I got a shirt, so we got another shirt going another way. So thank you so much to everybody that tuned in. Thank you for being a part of this. We'll continue on Wake Up Call on MixLR.com backslash Wake Up Call DT right after the break. And we thank Johnny for being on the show once again. And more than anything else, Johnny, thanks for being a good listener. Yeah, thank you. And thanks a good talker. Me. And, and all, you know, all those stuff that you put on the feed makes it interesting. I try, I try and, to It do allows my best me to branch day. out. He's the one that's <clears> constantly <throat> asking for Kim Jong-un and Trump to to call into the show, which they've, they've obliged you a lot. They have. Yeah. They have. They seemingly find a way to get on the I show know. when you need them. I know. You know, it must be nice to have it like that. <laughs> so we appreciate it, folks. Thanks for watching a live video. Follow us over on to MixLR.com backslash DT and enjoy your Monday. This is a Wake Up Call Fast Break. For one day only, Sunday, August 12th from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., the CNY Pop Festival brings sports and pop entertainers together, including Syracuse basketball's Decades of Bayheim, from Roosevelt Bowie Jr. to Daywan Coleman, as well as Syracuse football alumni and actors from The Flash, Star Wars, The Gremlins, Power Rangers, and The Addams Family. Come to the CNY Pop Festival at the F Shed at the Regional Market. Buy VIP and pre-sale tickets now on cnypopfestival.com. Brought to you by Honda City Liverpool, Utica Pizza Company, and True by Hilton Camillus. Gear up with the real deal at Drysig Apparel. Creating what people are going to see and learn about you before they even meet you. Gear up for what you need for your team, business, or event. So look professional, look good, and feel good. Outfit yourself at DrysigApparel.com. That's D-R-E-I-S-S-I-G Apparel.com. The only place to gear up with the real deal. What's the universal language of a fan? Clapping your hands. With Fan Hands, the ultimate sports fan accessory, find your team color, slip them on, and start cheering on your favorite team with 11 different colors always in stock on FanHands.com, where you'll find the ultimate sports fan accessory. Real fans wear Fan Hands. Utica Pizza Company spells family, your family, my family. 
their family. The recipes that they have shared with each other throughout the years and have now been so gracious to share them with us. I can sit here and talk with you about all the great things that are on the menu. We'd be here forever. So let me say this. Utica Pizza Company is second to none. And now you can bring it home with you and you can dine in in the restaurant. UticaPizzaCompany.com will give you all the information that you need. And let me say, these Utica Greens, they're the best. Utica Pizza Company. Call them and place your order at 315-214-3060. That's 315-214-3060. Families break bread at Utica Pizza Company. Hi, this is Domenico Vitali, owner of Giovanni's Formalwear, where you look great and feel even better with our renowned tailoring and alteration services on any suit or any tuxedo from anywhere. Call 315-455-8729. That's 315-455-8729. Stop in locally on Route 11 in North Syracuse next to the Ponderosa Plaza where you can choose your style, get fitted, and tailored, all at Giovanni's Formal Wear. Welcome back here to Wake Up Call with Dan Tortor on WakeUpCallDT.com, your one-stop sports shop, and on MixLR.com backslash DT. Proud to be here with you this morning and every single Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Time right here where sports meets life. WakeUpCallDT.com is the hub of all things Wake Up Call. You can listen, watch, read, and enjoy. We have videos available for you up there, as well as our show archive. And on top of all that, we have over 500 articles that you can go back and listen to, or read, pardon me. (laughs) I'm still caught up on the fact of what we did this morning. If you want to see it back, the video is available on Wake Up Call's Facebook page, that is Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora. You could just go to at Wake Up Call DT on Facebook and find it there as well. I want to thank Johnny for being such an amazing sport and being a part of this thing. I want to give a shout out to Ross, uh, Ross Turetsky, who's a great friend of mine and also a, a sports writer in Northeast Pennsylvania. He was watching this video from Seattle today which means that he had to get up at like 6 a.m to watch the video so shout out to you buddy thank you i know his support is huge but uh the fact that he got up that early is insane so make sure that you check out the video one of my longtime listeners who listens devoutly every single day johnny has shaved his chest he kept his word he did what he said he was going to do and officially shaved his chest here on Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora. And I, I appreciate it. I, I definitely uh, show him a lot of respect for that and appreciate the fact that he did that. He's a man of his word, and he lived by his word. So thank you to Johnny for showing people a bunch of things out there. Number one, be a person of your word. Number two, you know, be careful what you wish for and be careful what you say. So thank you to Johnny. Much appreciation. And uh, it was great. I mean, this 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 was awesome this morning. Can't believe it's the day after Father's Day and that it's his birthday. And it was after he dropped his kids off, which just made it even more insane. So big ups to Johnny for being a part of today's show coming in studio. And for all of you that are nervous, we put a tarp down on the studio floor so that when we shaved his hair, we could dispose of it pretty easily here and we uh, we had the hazmat cleaners come in and take care of business. So thank you to Johnny for being an awesome sport and you know getting invited to a listener's wedding, you know who met you through your work, you know is is like I said, it's a it's a true honor, and uh, I don't really even know what to say about something like that except for the fact that I am a hundred percent going to that wedding and showing my support. So thank you to uh, to Johnny for coming out today and for doing something fun with us. And something innovative and interesting all the way. So, you know, we definitely appreciate it. We had a good time, and uh, I'm happy that Johnny was such a good sport in the grand scheme of things here. So, thank you to to Johnny once again for coming in studios and shaving his chest. So, listen, you lose a bet, you gotta you gotta pony up, right? You gotta pony up. So, I owe my dad a steak dinner for a bet that him and I made. So, I gotta pony up that and make sure that that 
happens as I promised that it would. So with that being said, we're moving forward here in the morning menu inside a wake-up call with Dan, Dan Tortora on wakeupcalldt.com, your one-stop sports shop, and on mixlr.com backslash wakeupcalldt. For those of you that have been watching the World Cup and seeing what's going on with the World Cup, hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and having some fun with the World Cup. There hasn't been a ton of games. I mean, we've just gotten started, which I'm really excited about. And at, or as soon as the show is over this morning, in about a half an hour at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to be watching Belgium against Panama, and that's on Fox Sports 1, Tunisia against England at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, also on Fox Sports 1, and uh, already done today is that Sweden beat South Korea, the Korea Republic is what it's also named as well. Sweden got that dub, so that has happened here and uh, inside of the FIFA World Cup. The next time that we will see Spain play, which I'm really excited about, is uh, Spain will play Iran at 2 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, which means I'll be doing nothing other than watching that game. That game is on Fox. Thank you to whoever figured out that maybe Spectrum and Fox should stop fighting with each other because they went off the air during the NFL draft, which was an awesomely horrible thing to do to people. And then, and you can sense my sarcasm. I wasn't happy about it. And then, uh, you know, obviously it's been off since, since that moment. And I am a fan of last man standing with Tim Allen, which Fox picked up. So I didn't want to lose that. And I definitely don't want to lose any more sporting events. So far, what we've seen, Russia took a hold of Saudi Arabia. I mean, I, I think Russia you know, has a chance to move forward, but I don't have them moving forward. They won 5 to nothing against Saudi Arabia in the first day of the World Cup, which is all being held in Russia. Then in day two, Egypt lost to Uruguay at the end of the game. Uh, Iran beat Morocco. Portugal and Spain tied 3-3. to It was one nothing Portugal, then 1-1, one, one, then 2-1 two, one, Portugal, then Spain tied it, then Spain went up 3-2, to two just kind of went crazy with their goals. And then Cristiano Ronaldo scored his hat trick third goal. Nobody else scored for Portugal in the game. So as LJ Papaleo, who obviously uh, works with us here with, uh, as a licensed real estate salesperson of Gilbo Realty as a partner of the broadcast of wake up call with Dan Tatora, but also a former professional soccer player himself. You know, he said Cristiano Ronaldo three Spain three, which is very, accurate and then over the weekend France took down Australia Argentina tied with Iceland which is a little bit of a surprise here for some Peru lost to Denmark Croatia defeated Nigeria two to nothing Peru 1-0 lost to Denmark 1-1 Argentina and Iceland and on Father's Day Serbia took down Costa Rica which is somewhat surprising here one to nothing a big surprising game for a bunch of people Uh, Mexico defeated Germany one to nothing And how about this? Brazil and Switzerland tied. So Brazil doesn't get three points. They only get a point. And like I said this morning, we've already seen Sweden top South Korea or the Korea Republic, however you want to refer to it, as coming up later on today at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Belgium, Panama, and Tunisia, England at 2 p.m. Eastern Time will be coming up here. And if we look at how everything is bracketed out here, and where everybody stands at this time, it's it's pretty, you know, for me, it's pretty amazing to see some of the things that have happened in this World Cup already. I think Russia scoring five goals in a game, granted it was Saudi Arabia. I think Uruguay being able to do what they did in the uh, in their first match I think to, you know, to defeat Egypt and to do it when they did it, you know, for me, it's just, it's really, really good to see some of these teams that are stepping up that maybe you don't expect to step up. And I think Mexico is better than people give them credit for. And, you know, you look at where they stand right now. Now for the standings inside of the World Cup, Group A, Russia is in first place with three points and Uruguay is behind them because the goal differential is diff- is is what separates them in a tie. Russia has a five-goal differential. Uruguay only has one. 
So both have three points. Egypt has no points for a loss. Saudi Arabia has no points for a loss. In Group B, Iran, believe it or not, is in first place with three points. Portugal and Spain are tied after that with one point apiece for their tie that they had. Morocco has no points in this. In Group C, France is in first place with three points. Denmark is right there with them. Goal differential is the same. Three points as well. Australia and Peru have no points. In Group D, Croatia is in first place with three points. Iceland and Argentina are tied with one point apiece, and Nigeria has no points. Outside of that, Serbia has three points in Group E. Brazil behind them tied with Switzerland with one point because they tied in their game. Costa Rica has no points right now. Group F, Mexico is at the top with three. Their goal, dif- goal differential is the same as Sweden. So in a in the group that has Germany inside of it, Mexico is one, tied with Sweden, and Germany is three with no points. The Korea Republic is right behind them, which is pretty insane. Group G, Belgium, Panama, Tunisia, England, nobody has a point because they are facing off right now and getting things started. And as far as Group H goes, same thing. We haven't seen Poland, Senegal, Colombia, or Japan. We will see all of them coming up very, very soon. We'll see them coming up tomorrow. So, you know, some of these groups haven't even started play yet. Like I said, things are things are quiet right now in the sense of we're just getting started. So tomorrow we will see Colombia, Japan, Poland, Senegal, and then uh, Russia and Egypt will get another match on the docket here as we move forward in the week. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to us uh, every single day, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Coming up this week and every Wednesday during the World Cup, we have what's called World Cup Wednesday. It's our World Cup takeover, and it's featuring Zach Bowden, who is interning with my company over the summer. And like I said, some interns get an opportunity to grab coffee for somebody. Some interns sit in the corner. Some of them file papers. Some of them hand out mail. My interns get a feel of all different pieces of my company. They get true, honest to good work. And Zach has already been on the air with me doing this segment. And because he's a former soccer player and a big lover of the game, he will join me with the World Cup takeover every Wednesday on Wake Up Call from 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern Time. We did our first week giving you a primer going into the World Cup last Wednesday on the 13th. And he is back here every Wednesday throughout the World Cup play at, from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern Time with World Cup Wednesday. And then Significant Sound Bites will be featuring LJ Papaleo, prof- former professional soccer player who played for Poland in his professional days and is now a licensed real estate salesperson coming back to the area that he grew up in in central and upstate New York to give back to the community by being an honest real estate agent who will do everything that he possibly can to get you the right house and not be a typical salesperson, but be someone who genuinely cares about your business, your family, and making sure if you have to sell, buy, or both, that you're being taken care of justly, properly, and swiftly. So thank you to Lawrence Papaleo. He'll be joining us every Friday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time in significant sound bites to do his little segment there on the World Cup. So the World Cup is having a little bit of a wake-up call takeover. And as I said, we'll have Zach Bowden on World Cup Wednesday from 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And then Lawrence L.J. Papaleo every Friday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time right here on MixLR.com backslash DT to discuss the World Cup from their points of view, both of them as former players, uh, Zach as a former player throughout his time, and he's now currently in college and then uh, professionally indoor and outdoor for Lawrence L.J. Papaleo. So we got a nice, we got a nice uh, mix-up of of great uh, great opportunity here and great talent coming on the air to speak with us on the World Cup as we go throughout these weeks here the World Cup that will continue to move forward through June and into July as we continue forward so a uh, big thanks to everybody that's been involved including Zach Bowden and Lawrence LJ Papaleo moving on here in side wake up call with Dan Satora off of the field and onto the court, 
this Kawhi Leonard sweepstakes is pretty interesting. And uh, the reason why it's interesting is that Kawhi is not in a situation where he can easily be in the driver's seat of his own future as far as his contract goes. So, you know, we have to look at the contract side of things. And if we pull up Kawhi Leonard's contract, which I will do here in studio right now, is is give you the specifics on the Kawhi Leonard contracts and what we have with all of the information on him is that Kawhi is still under contract, okay? Kawhi Leonard is not an unrestricted free agent until 2020, okay? There's no player option. There's there's no, I mean, well, let me, pardon me on that. There's a player option in 2019. So he's an unrestricted free agent in 2020 with the Spurs. He has a player option in 2019. But for this upcoming 2018-19 season, he is under contract with the Spurs. If they do not want to trade him and they don't want to deal with all this and they don't like what they'd be getting in return, they don't have to make a move. But he will cost their cap almost $20.1 million. So that's going to be there if he stays with this team. Now they could do a sign-and-trade deal to get him off of the team. But as of right now... This is a situation, we've seen it with Carmelo Anthony before and others, where they don't want to necessarily be on the team that they're on, but they're still under contract, which means that that team doesn't have to honor anything, especially if it's a detriment to them. Now, you ask yourself the question, do I want to deal with Kawhi Leonard? Do I want Kawhi Leonard to be on my roster if he's not going to be supportive of the team, if he's not going to care about the team, you know, th- these are the questions that we have to, you know, ask. If if you're a general manager, if you're a president, you're a head coach, and you got a guy on the team that doesn't want to be there, you know, you could say, well, it's the best player we got, which yeah, Kawhi is for the San Antonio Spurs. You know, you look at David Robinson moved off very well, and Tim Duncan moved off into what people hoped would be another era with Kawhi Leonard. But that is not the case right now. And with Kawhi seemingly wanting to get the heck out of Dodge, we're looking at that we're, you know, we're looking at a situation where if he's going to be a nuisance and he is not going to want to perform, if he's going to half go, if he's going to tell coach, I'm just going to sit, you know, this could be a Stefan Marbury thing in a, you know, not the same type of situation because it seemed like Dan Tony didn't want to play Stefan Marbury, but Stefan wanted to play. This could be a role reversal where Kawhi says to Greg Popovich, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit on my butt. Now, if that's the situation, would you really want that person to be on your team? You know, would you want somebody that's going to act like a child? Now, San Antonio right now is in a situation outside of Kawhi. Restricted free agents are Kyle Anderson, David Bertans, and Bryn Forbes. Player options of Rudy Gay and Danny Green are out there. And if there is a meeting with LeBron James, think what they could do there. Now, in the draft that's coming up here at the end of June, they have a first rounder, which is 18th overall. They have a second rounder, which is 49th overall. And cap space, they don't have a position of strength and flexibility. San Antonio will enter the offseason right at the threshold with $100 million in guaranteed contracts. That doesn't include the $8 million in free agent holds of their restricted free agents. If Danny Green and Rudy Gay were to opt out, they would only have the $8.6 million non-tax and $3.5 million biannual exceptions to replace them. Their current depth chart is Mills at the point guard with Murray and White behind him. Green, but he has a player option. At shooting guard, Ginobili behind him and Paul behind that. Not Chris Paul, mind you. And then at small forward, Kawhi Leonard, if he was to stay, which seemingly it seems like he won't, and Rudy Gay behind that. So if they lose Rudy Gay, they'll have no depth at small forward. And then Aldridge at power forward and uh, Pau Gasol at center currently right now, but it is it is a wait-and-see type of situation for the San Antonio Spurs. 
but they have to figure out how they're going to make this happen. How are they going to make this <clears throat> trade work? And they need to get valuable pieces from this. You know that Greg Popovich works a certain way. And Greg Pop- Popovich doesn't want to deal with head cases, which if this is what it's becoming, I would imagine that he wants to get Kawhi Leonard out of there very, very, very soon and not have to wait on this opportunity of, you know, what's going to happen here. But you got to make moves here. Now, the, the question is, are they going to move Kawhi to get a bunch of draftable pieces? Are they going to move Kawhi to get draftable pieces and players? Are they going to move Kawhi and take one or two players and just look to shed some money? You know, they, th- what they want to do, what they have to do, what they need to do, you know, there's been some notion out there that if the Lakers want to get get Kawhi Leonard, that they would give up Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, Josh Hart, and Luau Deng, which would bring five players to the Lakers. But I don't imagine that Greg Popovich is going to want Lonzo Ball and everything that comes from that. Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, you know, Luau Deng, not bad, you know, not horrible. But the thing is, you know, it's that, it's that inside presence you know, that forward that's going to make a difference here on what you could do. But the question is, how do you move things around and make these pieces work? I don't think Lonzo Ball is going to be a part of this movement. There's also the thought out there of the Boston Celtics and what they could give to make this thing happen. So, you know, for me, it it is sad because the San Antonio Spurs – have not dealt with a lot of drama, uh, really nothing from David Robinson. I think next to nothing for Tim Duncan, maybe what one time. And you know, with Kawhi Leonard, he's kind of making up for the two of them combined. If this were to happen, so if we look at the Celtics and what the Celtics can do to make this a reality, this to me. <clears throat> would be interesting and and again this morning folks I, I apologize my allergies and as many of you know who have them the pollen in central and upstate New York has been absolutely horrific so you know me if you've listened to my show for any moment out of the last 15 years I am not one to cough on radio or be you know sneezing and this that and the other thing or, or clearing my throat but this is one of those scenarios where I really can't help it. So please understand and uh, and respect the uh, the situation that I have right now, and uh, and thank you for you know your patience with that. But we look at you know what would be what would be the asking price if you're the Spurs and you want to drop Kawhi Leonard. What would be that you would imagine you could do if you essentially wanted to trade him? to the Celtics and get rid of, you know, pieces with the Celtics. You know, I I don't, I don't know if I'm the Celtics, if I want to see the Lakers have nothing to lose because they're not that good anymore. Right. You know, post Kobe Bryant, they've, they've fallen off the face of the earth somewhat. So, you know, there's a notion out there of a bunch of different teams and, you know, the Celtics, they have Kyrie Irving, they have Gordon Hayward, they have Al Horford, they have Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Here's the thing. If I'm the Celtics, I'm not letting go of Gordon Hayward because I haven't even gotten to enjoy him yet. Now, Al Horford, you could think that maybe that's an option, but, you know, he's your inside guy. He's your inside presence. If I'm Boston, I will consider shipping Kyrie Irving because I already know my young guns can get it done. I already know Jalen Brown is capable. I know Jason Tatum is capable. I know Terry Rozier is capable. But I would say, you know, I would package, you know, Marcus Smart. And, you know, I would look more into that. Marcus Smart, Kyrie Irving, and whatnot. Kyrie Irving's contract is substantial. Now, I told you that Kawhi Leonard's contract information for what he would be if he stays on the books with the Spurs. He's costing $20.1 million this year. Kyrie Irving's contract, if we put that up, you know, we talk about not having to get rid of a ton of pieces. If we look at Kyrie Irving's contract, he is, for this upcoming season, eerily the same. 
His contract is exactly the same in money. It's an even swap. 20 20 million 99,188 dollars. It's the same contract. So, if I'm Boston and I already had to go through the playoffs without Kyrie Irving, I will, you know, w- without having him, I would tell you that for me, I would make the deal if you said to me that I could keep all the pieces that I got, but just give up that. I would do that in a heartbeat. Okay. I keep Gordon Hayward. I keep Al Horford. I keep Jason Tatum. I keep Jalen Brown. I keep Terry Rozier. And all that I give up is Kyrie Irving. Straight up for Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard and a healthy Gordon Howard and an Al Horford and a Jason Tatum and a Jalen Brown and a Terry Rozier. Then hell yes, folks. We're looking at an NBA Finals run. If you want Boston to be in white and green, that to me is how you do it. You don't get rid of Gordon Hayward. You absolutely don't move Jason Tatum. You don't move Jalen Brown and Al Horford. Hell no. So I would say straight up, money is money. Kawhi Leonard's on your on your salary cap for twenty million nine hundred and ninety or twenty million ninety nine thousand one hundred and eighty eight dollars. And Kyrie costs the exact same. Okay, how many times can you say that you could trade a player straight up and down and you could do that with Kawhi and Kyrie Irving? I would make that happen right now. Kawhi is under contract. Kyrie is under contract. So you ship them and you make it happen. Now, the Clippers have lottery picks 12 and 13. So if they wanted to, you know, do a trade for Kawhi Leonard, they could try and make this move. I don't know why Kawhi would want to go to the Clippers though I mean you're on a team that perennially makes the playoffs and is in the top three in the Western Conference standings so if I'm Kawhi Leonard and I'm complaining about San Antonio which I don't know why he would but if he's complaining about San Antonio and where they're at right now you know and saying well Golden State passed us we have to do this we have to do that and he's not happy there anymore and he doesn't want to be there anymore like I said this is speculation I don't know and have nor have I spoken with Kawhi Leonard to say do you 100% want out, or is there a chance you would stay? I don't know why the Clippers would make sense. Now, the Lakers only make sense because they have the most money <coughs> that they can spend. So the Lakers have the best salary cap situation scenario right now. And if Kawhi can link himself up with some other people, then this maybe makes some sense. If he doesn't link himself up with anybody The Lakers get him, they don't get LeBron, they don't get Paul George. Then he's leaving the Spurs to be on a team that's kind of like the Spurs where he's going to have to be the guy. And they, you know, maybe they'll do a little bit better than last year, but not much. Sacramento, I don't see happening. I'm not even going to entertain the fact that that there's been information written about how Sacramento would make sense because Sacramento is where, uh, where players go to die in their career recently. It just doesn't. It just doesn't seem to work out here. The Philadelphia 76ers, this can make sense. You know, Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, they're not going anywhere. Okay? But Markel Fultz, if Ben Simmons is taking over and Markel Fultz is not going to stay, if he doesn't want to be there and be a part of this and he could leave, we're looking at that. Okay? And we're also looking at the fact that they have the number 10 pick in the 2018 NBA draft. So that could be an option. But ultimately for me, I think that the best landing spots for Kawhi Leonard, if he desperately, truly wants to leave, are the Lakers because they have the money. So I would say the Lakers because of the monetary piece of this thing. Or I would say the Boston Celtics because they could get rid of Kyrie Irving for the same amount of money. And it's like they, and it's to, to them, it's nothing. To them, it's this is what we were going to have to deal with. And now we have the exact same contract. If Kyrie Irving and Kawhi Leonard flip today, the money is exactly the same. $20,099,188. It's exactly the same. It's not even a penny difference. So if we're going to make it, make it. You know, to me, make that deal. Make it happen. They're in their, They're under the same type of contract. That's what they got. And I think that, you know, for me, this deal makes perfect sense. Because I think that Boston's shown that they could do it without Kyrie Irving. And I think Kawhi Leonard automatically makes this team dangerous. And I think with a healthy Gordon Hayward, 
that would be a hell of a team to have to face when it comes playoff time or in general. We'll take a step aside here on Wake Up Call with Dan Satora and come back to wrap up the show in just a moment. This is a Wake Up Call Fast Break. For one day only, Sunday, August 12th from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., the CNY Pop Festival brings sports and pop entertainers together, including Syracuse basketball's Decades of Bayheim, from Roosevelt Bowie Jr. to Daywan Coleman, as well as Syracuse football alumni and actors from The Flash, Star Wars, The Gremlins, Power Rangers, and The Addams Family. Come to the CNY Pop Festival at the F Shed at the Regional Market. Buy VIP and pre-sale tickets now on cnypopfestival.com. Brought to you by Honda City Liverpool, Utica Pizza Company, and True by Hilton Camillus. Consistency is, well, consistently hard to find. Unless you head to 119 East 2nd Street in East Syracuse, New York, the home of the Penn and Trophy Center, who has been serving us Central and Upstate New Yorkers, as well as beyond, for decades. The Penn and Trophy Center on 119 East 2nd Street in East Syracuse, New York, gives you an amazing and unique way to customize a memory today. Say it with the Penn and Trophy Center. Be it an Employee of the Month award, a sports award, something for your business, engraving for your family, your loved ones, anniversaries, birthday parties, and so much more, including remembering somebody who served in the military. Say it with the Penn and Trophy Center. 119 East 2nd Street in East Syracuse, New York. The definition of consistency is Penn and Trophy. Browse their products on penandtrophy.com. That's penandtrophy.com. And call them for more information at 315-422-8797. That's 315-422-8797. Hi, this is Kira from Looking Glass Events, where we're always giving you a reason to celebrate. Whether you have a small business, large business, personal event, or wedding, we are available to plan and coordinate your dream event to life. Every detail, every step, Looking Glass Events is working with you all the way. Call us at 315 315- 702-4653. That's 315-702-4653. Or contact us through our website, lgweddingsandevents.com. Looking Glass Events, giving you a reason to celebrate. The Wildcat Sports Pub in Camillus, New York, is located on 3680 Milton Avenue in the Home Depot Plaza. It is your family-friendly sports bar and restaurant. Folks, some sports bars aren't family-friendly. Some family-friendly restaurants are not sports bars. The Wildcat Sports Pub in Camillus, New York, is proud to be both. It is that marriage that you've been looking for for years. The Wildcat Sports Pub is your home base for your sports bar and restaurant needs, games for the kids, indoor and outdoor activities, and enough things on the menu to come back every single week and get to try something new. They're open Sundays from noon to 8 p.m., Monday through Wednesday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., and Thursday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to midnight. For reservations and party information, call 315 315- 487-2222 for the Wildcat family-friendly sports pub and restaurant. Welcome back here to Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora on wakeupcalldt.com, your one-stop sports shop, and on mixlr.com backslash wakeupcalldt. Uh, you can hear the laughter as this morning was a, a very, very light post father's day morning and uh, you know we try to be light and have fun here you know if we get if we get deep on the show it's it's with purpose and uh, it's definitely with a whole lot of love and a lot of good behind it you know always good behind it as always but you know we're we we did something we made history today in you know having a listener who made a bet about the NBA finals come on the show and they said that they would shave their chest if they lost the bet. They lost the bet, so they came on the show and they shaved their chest. So, you know, I want to thank Johnny for being a man of his word. And we have now shaved his chest officially, so he's ready for his wedding and ready for all that is to come with that. So then, <laughs> that'll be fun. I'm sure that Aaron, his his soon-to-be wife, is excited about the fact that she will she will have him all set and ready to go for the wedding. So... I just find that to be amusing here and, uh, and, you know, kind of funny, but we, we definitely appreciate 
the good sport that Johnny has been and uh, and obviously his listenership to Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora on WakeUpCallDT.com, your one-stop sports shop, and always on MixLR.com backslash WakeUpCallDT. So a big ups and a big shout out to Johnny for being a man of his word and, and coming on to the show and giving us something fun to do after Father's Day. On his birthday, folks, noted, on his birthday, day he allowed us to do this so not only being a good sport and being a man of his word but doing it on his birthday today happy birthday to johnny 32nd birthday so a uh, big happy birthday to him and you can go and watch that video on facebook.com backslash wake up call dt you can also watch it on facebook.com backslash dan tortora 21 that's the number 21 so go and check it out we'll be putting this on youtube today as well and uh, you'll be able to watch it all over the place as I had the blessing and the opportunity of shaving the chest of one of my listeners who made a bet that the Golden State Warriors would not win game four and sweep LeBron James. So we shaved his chest and he was a perfect sport about it. And then we sat down and had a nice conversation about the world of sports. So thank you to Johnny for your listenership, your support, and for and for coming in and being a, a person of your word which made it really cool, and we got to make some history on Wake Up Call with Dan Satora. I never thought I'd shave somebody's chest on live radio. I thought if it was going to be everybody, anybody, it would be me losing a bet and having to do it. But I could say that it wasn't me first. So if it's me after this time, that's okay, because at least it, it wasn't me first. And Johnny had never shaved before, so this is the first time that we uh, we did this, which was, which was pretty funny, and it was his first time, so... Uh, I think that that's hilarious that he had never, ever shaved, manscaped, any of that before. So we we got to not only do that for him losing the bet, but it was the first time that he had ever done it at all. So that's uh, it's pretty, pretty interesting and uh, pretty hilarious, Johnny. So thank you for being such a good sport and being a part of the show. I'm going to set you up for the rest of the week. So we are going to have representation from Bayheim's Army on the show this week. We're also going to have Syracuse recruits that have been offered by Syracuse football. So you'll hear from Syracuse football offerees. You will hear from Bayheim's Army, and you will also get our signature segments, Ingredients to Success, proudly brought to you by Utica Pizza Company, Tuesday at 10.50 a.m. Eastern Time. And on Thursday, we will have our signature segment at 9.30 a.m., Eastern time with Katie Kolinsky coaching with class from 10 to 11 a.m. On Thursday, we'll have the fantasy football power hour presented by the world wildcat sports pub in Camillus, New York, which proudly brings you the wake up call fantasy football challenge and the live drafts on site on location at the wildcat sports pub. So come out and see us there. We also on Friday, will have the annoying moment of the week at 9 a.m. at 930 significant sound bites world cup takeover with Lawrence LJ Papaleo 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern time on Friday collectible corner with John Newman of Newman sports cards on live video and audio. And of course on Wednesday, world cup Wednesday, the world cup takeover with Zach Bowden from nine to 10 a.m. So Plenty to come up this week on the show. We will also break down Syracuse men's basketball schedule so far. I'll let you know about Eastern Washington, Moorhead State, Connecticut, Ohio State, Cornell, Old Dominion, and Buffalo. Also let you know about Iowa or Oregon because at Madison Square Garden, they will face off against one of those teams. So I'll let you know about uh, both of those teams as well. We'll break down the schedule so far and get into some other things that are going on. Of course, if anything happens with Kawhi Leonard, we'll get you up to date on what's going on there and so much more here on Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora, where sports meets life. So get ready for a jam-packed week of fun. And thank you again to Johnny, longtime listener, first-time shaver of his chest, and the first time that we got to have somebody come into the studios to that place to bet and live by their bet. So, Johnny, on your birthday, may everybody know that you're a man of your word, and your word, as Floyd Little says, is the most valuable thing you own. Have a phenomenal day, and to all the dads out there, to my dad, to my wife's dad, to my wife's grandpa, who's my grandpa, to my adopted pop in heaven, Papa Pandozi, to Pop Miller and Pop with the round head, my two grandfathers, what I called them when I was little, to 
I, I also want to pop a Joe to Eric to Ross. I want to make sure that I include everybody in here to Mark to to Mark with a C to Mark with a K to <clears throat> all the listeners that I have to your dads to your granddads to the dads that listen to your granddads you know and your kids and and your your love for them and their love for you I also want to shout out to Joey I want to shout out Rob I want to give a shout out to Eric a shout out to Jason a shout out to LJ to to another Mark with a K to John and to Brandon to all the dads I know and to all the nieces and nephews that I have despite the fact that I don't have any blood biological siblings to my niece Lorelai to my that's in Pennsylvania and to my niece and she just took her first trip and she's not even one one years old yet and she already went cross country which her 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 uncle Dan has never done to Gracie and Carly down in Florida and you know and it just I, I love you all so very much happy Father's Day God bless each and every one of you I want to read these off in in conclusion of today's show the messages I put up because I, I feel that you know since I didn't get to talk to you on Father's Day I want to I want to do this live on the the radio here so happy Father's Day to my dad I appreciate all the games the drives in the car the support in the the pride in all I have worked to do. I love you now and always, and I'm glad that you are here to spend time with, to laugh with, and build a friendship with. Growing up and spending time with my dad, you know, we didn't spend as much time then as we do now. We didn't have the relationship then that I hope we can build today. And, you know, but I want to say that I love you to pieces. I'm so proud of you. I know you just went through surgery and you're fighting to get back to normal. And by the grace of God, you will. And so just keep fighting. Keep your spirits up. Know that I love you, Dad, and that you mean a lot to me. And that really, honestly, our conversations when we just get and sit and talk and to be friends, you know, that's the thing I appreciate the most is when we've gotten to really have good long talks together. And I hope we can have more of those. So I love you, Dad. And to my grandfather's. I'm going to save that for last. I'm going to mention mention my buddies here. So happy Father's Day to three of the greatest gifts God has ever given me. Rob Drummond, Joe, Joey Khalil, and Mark Jones. I'm an only child, but God gave me three brothers and these gentlemen. I don't have the perfect words to thank them all because whatever I say, I feel that there's more to say. They know that I love them and I would do anything for them. Thank you for your love, your support, and your positivity. Together we will always achieve great things. Cheers to my brothers and great fathers. To which Joey said, thanks, Dan, for the kind words. Really means a lot. And Mark said, thanks, Dan. I appreciate the kind words. And all four of us are there for each other. Hashtag God's gifts. Because I really do have great brothers in each and every single one of them. And to my wife's dad, who I call my dad, not my father-in-law. Happy Father's Day to my dad, Mel. Finding the perfect person to spend the rest of your life with is something remarkable from God. Having her dad become your dad, too, is priceless. I love you, Dad, so much. You are positive, kind, genuine, real, loving, caring, thoughtful, supportive, and always there. Always keep being the amazing person you are and love yourself as much as we love you. We got you, Pop. And if you want to know exactly how loving and just jovial and just how beautiful his spirit is, go see his picture on Facebook.com backslash Dan Tortora. It's Dan.Tortora21, pardon me, Dan.Tortora21, the picture says it all. And to my wife's grandfather, I haven't had a, a grandfather on this earth in a very long time, biologically, over 26 years. And somehow, some way, God gave me my fourth grandfather after my adopted pop and my two grandpas. It's been 26 plus years since my biological grandpas have been physically here on earth, is what I said. But God somehow found a way to give me another grandpa here on earth that has given me the hugs, support, guidance, time, and conversation I've missed in my life. Every time I see him, whether it's 80-something degrees like it was yesterday or 30 degrees outside, he wears all the Syracuse sweatshirts I bought him. He's always wearing one of them. And literally, for the last, I don't even know, two, three, four years, he has worn 
one of the every every time I've seen him, he's worn a Syracuse sweatshirt that I bought him, which is a consistent way of him telling me how much he loves me and appreciates me. Uh, being able to call him my grandfather, and uh, even bigger than that, that when he talks to his friends, he calls me his grandson, is a true honor for me. I'm so honored to be in his life, and having a grandpa to add to my very blessed life is truly special. Thank you, thank you, always and forever, for treating me as well as you do. I love you. And he told me yesterday that I w- that he said, you really are a great writer, and you're great with your words. He said, you're definitely in the right profession, and that meant the world to me. To Papa Joe, happy Father's Day to someone who I can't say enough wonderful things about. Thank you for being a dad to me and giving me so much love. Being in your home feels like home, and your support is tremendously appreciated. You have added so much to my life, and I'm honored to be one of your meatballs. I love you. Papa Joe. So I can't do it as well right now with all my allergies, but just know that I love you to pieces, Papa Joe, so very much. And a happy Father's Day to the amazing dads that I know. I love you all, and I'm so honored to have nieces and nephews, even though I don't have any biological siblings. God gave me brothers, a true expanded family that has made my life better and better. I love my brothers, my family, my blessings from God. I'm honored to be a part of your lives. And that is to Ross, to Eric, to Jason, to LJ, to Mark, to John, to Brandon, and to everybody that I know who's a great, great, great father. And uh, finally, to my grandpas, I wanted to save this till last. Happy Father's Day to the best grandpas anyone could ask for. You passed away when I was six. But the amount of love you've given me has lasted more than 20 years since you passed away and will last forever in a day. I love you both so much. You have constantly been there for me from heaven, and I credit you for raising me. I thought you not being here would make me feel alone. But I've never felt you leave my side, and I know you never will. Cheers to two of God's best angels and grandpas, whose love is so strong, it has always reached me from heaven. I love you, Grandpa Ralph, and I love you, Grandpa Tommy, more and more each day. I've never forgotten you. I will never forget you. And I always, always appreciate you and and have felt that you're with me, because I know that you are. I love you all tremendously. And happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. It's never too late to be a good father. Don't ever forget that. Happy Father's Day. God bless you. And thank you to my puppy, Lily, who got me a Father's Day card. And uh, it says, Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be just like you. And it's a picture of two, a big dog and a little dog dressed the same. And thank you to my wife who made Father's Day extra special. Because to her, to me, to us... We have our family, and if we never have kids, I will always have a kid in Lily. Thank you to K9 Campground on top of that for taking care of all of our dogs that we love as our kids. K9 Campground, make sure that you get in touch with them. You can go to wakeupcalldt.com and click on their logo and find more information. Their commercial that we have that's very, very special for you will air on tomorrow's show. So much coming up this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wake Up Call with Dan Satora live Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. MixLR.com backslash Wake Up Call DT is where to go. And buy your tickets to the CNY Pop Festival right now by going to CNYPopFestival.com. Take care, folks. God bless. And once again, happy birthday, Johnny. And thank you so much. And thank you for you being a great dad as well. God bless you all. I'll talk to you tomorrow.